I have to say, it does feel like a knee-jerk reaction to me where it looked like a sort of low-hanging fruit that would deliver some income that would allow uh, the government to do some of the things that they wanted to do. And I think Kevin is right to point out the fact that not only is the winter fuel allowance being cut, but the cost of living payments. But yes, they were a one-off, but they are being lost as well. And I think the other thing that we shouldn't forget is, is as we see the price cap increasing, uh, energy costs are way, way above what they were before this whole thing started. So people have been paying those enhanced prices uh, for, for, for some time. I think there's lots of conversations to have about how we best support people. But, you know, I've been doing DWP now for, for three years and every government has talked about increasing the awareness of pension credit and ensuring people apply for it. And it is very stubbornly stuck. And the reason why it's stuck, I think, is, is some of the things that Nadra raised in terms of the fact that people um, don't think that they qualify or don't want to think that they qualify. There is a dignity aspect to this. So the government simply saying that we will get more people, those 800,000 people who are not claiming pension credit, to do so and that will make things better, um, I, th I, think is, I think is wrong. You know, the, the government have been electing a manifesto to deliver a GB energy, which will, they say, deliver lower energy bills by the end of this parliament. The fact that the first thing that they do produces an increase in energy bills that people are going to feel in their pocket this, uh, this winter doesn't feel the right thing. I'd certainly like to see us looking at the quality of housing stock, at, uh, stock in the UK, home insulation. The Liberal Democrats have talked consistently about better insulating homes so that we can actually help people permanently get their bills down rather than leaving them left to the, the vagaries of the market or government decisions.